two predictions today. Two. Can you believe it? Not just one. Two. Uh, before I do them, though, because it's a new year. It's January. It's time to predict what we think may happen soon. In this year, maybe. Maybe in the near flung future. Near flung future. Future? Future. Before I get to any of that, um, I'm just freaking horrified for my friends in California right now uh, in the LA area. And I just, I don't even know what to say. These images and stuff, dude. I've been talking to friends and most are okay, but all of them could be five minutes away from a wind shift and having to evac. All of them are up all night, keeping an eye on things. Anyway, just a shout out to you guys and everybody over there. I don't know. I wish I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to say. All right. On to my predictions. Here we go. I think this is the year we see a massive shift or the beginning of a massive shift to Linux distributions over Windows for gamers, for PC gamers in particular. And uh, a lot of you will say, well, Scott, I've been doing that for years. I understand. There are going to be pockets of, you know, <laughs> the resistance has been going on for a long time. But, ow, I dropped my headphones. I just think this might be the year where it takes a more mainstream hold. And the reason I think this is based mostly on my experience with the Steam Deck and Steam OS. I've had to fiddle with Steam OS a lot in desktop mode, and I've come to the conclusion that everything is there that I would need. Now, not everyone is me, and not everybody is able to do all the other stuff they need need to do with their PC. My PC is dedicated primarily to gaming, a couple of other things, but for the most part, that's all it's for. And I do most of my production work on a Mac, so I'm just not I'm just not on there for anything else but gaming for the most part. So, you know, this prediction is mostly for probably for people like me, but I have a feeling that there's a decent number of people who don't necessarily need most of what Windows 11 currently offers them. They just need the basics. Linux distros have gotten there. So personally, what it would take for... So let me let me refine my prediction. I think that if, if Valve finally releases like a big stable release of the OS for desktop. Right now, they're they're doing great for handhelds. They're sending it off to Lenovo and ROG, and everybody else is going to start releasing their their Steam Deck competitors with Steam OS as an option rather than Windows. That was all announced at CES. We knew that was coming anyway. That's all good. Where what we still don't know is what's the status of the full blown desktop push. It will sort of depend on that because I think that will spearhead it. I think other distros will also be around and be popular and all that. It's not that it will be the only choice. Obviously already isn't the only choice. Maybe not even the best choice, but I think it'll be the mainstream choice. And that will push a ton of people toward Linux, including me. And this might be the year. So that's prediction number one, massive shift to to Linux based uh, tomfoolery. Okay, here's my other one. Within the next five years, Intel gets virtually destroyed. And here's why I think that. For the first time ever, NVIDIA announced at uh, CES this week that they're working on a CPU. All right. Their dominance right now in GPUs and in AI-enabled chip sales is unrivaled. They are destroying all the competition. I'm not saying NVIDIA is the new Intel. What I'm saying is if they get into that world, likely, I think the thing they're talking about now is ARM-based. Add to that Apple's entire foray now into their own you know, ARM-based internal silicon stuff, which are impressive as hell. Say what you want about Apple. I know there's people out there that go, Apple, whatever. Those chips are insane. They're awesome. And then add to that AMD, everybody else trying, you know, more competitive than they've ever been. And what's going on over at Intel? Oh, it's another year where they can't get the next generation uh, freaking thing to work. And oh, no, this, that and the other. And they can't do this. And now and their current chip, their current gen chips have that freaking bug that slowly eats away at the chip over time unless you underclock it and there's all this stuff and there's patches for boards and stuff, but it's not really that great. And people are pissed. Obviously I'm not going into all the details here. You guys either know this stuff or you don't. If not, maybe you can look all that up. I'm not going to do a whole video and give you every single pinpoint. It's not really what these short videos are for, but I don't think Intel's the dominant desktop CPU manufacturer in five years. Five years from now, we're either looking at someone buying Intel, merging with Intel, or maybe Intel figures it out and just massively pulls out a win. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. Can you imagine, though, five years, everybody's using, I don't know, NVIDIA CPUs or maybe even AMD if we're stuck with x86 architecture or whatever, but we're, we're using some other CPU almost entirely and we're running mostly, you know, Valve-based Linux distros on our desktops. I mean, it's a little reachy, right? I understand this stuff is a slow go. It doesn't, it doesn't happen forever. I'm not even bashing windows here. Not at all. I just think there is a, 
I think there is a com- combination of the things I've just talked about. And also, I think there's a consu- not consumer backlash coming, but a consumer like, all right, quit jamming AI down our throats. Quit telling us how we want to use computers. We already know what we want. You're making up stuff so you can have perpetual growth. I don't want these things integrated. I don't want this stuff. I don't want all these other side projects these companies do. It just makes me feel sour about the core thing I'm using. blah 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 I think there's a general feeling of that coming into this year. It certainly isn't new, but I think there's a renewed feeling of it, mostly because of all this AI stuff being pushed at us. And I think the net result of that might be some fundamental change. People just want to go to something that isn't barking at them all the time. Something that isn't there just for perpetual growth for shareholders. Something that is just working for them. I, I, I won't call it like a, a full-on rebellion by consumers, but I do think we're kind of in the mood to, to step back some. So anyway, we'll see. The whole point of this is to make this prediction, and then in a couple of years, well, let's come back to it. Let's talk about it again. At some point, we'll come back. We'll sit down to a virtual little cup of, of hot tea, and we'll discuss whether... We'll dis- you know what we'll probably discuss is just how wrong I was, but I don't know. I have a feeling about some of this stuff. Will I be wrong? Stick around and find out.